a currency. So we're going to be testing out Bison on Violent. So I love Bison on Violent. He's so good. Uh, his skill 2 absorbs attack bar. This is the stats, by the way. Uh, attack 2 absorbs attack bar, allowing him to cycle turns, which would allow him to keep essentially moving and moving and moving. On that. I'm going crazy. Ape shit. Uh, he has no skill ups, but that's okay. So we're going to test him out on a damage build. We're going to put Beth. Uh, who did we have before? We're going to put Beth. I mean, the last one didn't really matter, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, Dark Rio, where are you at? Dark Rio. So here we go. We're going to give it a test. Uh, unfortunately, on my Violent Rune, he is faster than my Dark Ryu, because that's how I have it speed tuned for Arena. So we're going to give this a test. Here we go. We'll slow down the damage. So compared to his rage build, obviously, he's not going to be doing that much damage. All right, we're going to... Oh, it sucks. All right. We're going to go back to another test. Here we go again. This time, we are going to test his skill 2. And then we're going to put a brand up for his skill 3. All right, skill... Oops, sorry, skill 2 will... So that was 5,000 damage, 5,700 damage per kick with a 44% attack uh, HP lead. Pretty good. Skill 2 has some decent multipliers. Decent multiplier. All right, we're going to show you can this. Plop. Let's go. Uh, decrease that attack bar. I mean, attack. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Here we go. We're going to use the skill 3 now. Whatever. We're going to use the skill 3 now. So I actually was not paying attention, but the slowdown should help and show you how much damage it was. Uh, from what I saw, it was some pretty decent damage off of a branded unit, um, and it was some pretty good damage against the enemy brands. So, nice. And being on Violent, that's great because after he stuns, he can turn, he can proc, use his skill to gain some attack bar, decrease attack bar, heal, and then cycle again, and just, oh, it, it gets ridiculous. Plus, on Violent, you can expect him to provoke multiple units because he can hit somebody, violent proc, hit somebody again, and it's just great. All right, now we're going to test him without an HP lead, and we're going to see how much damage he does on violence. Here we go. We're going to do a slow, and here we go. Four thousand seven hundred damage, three times. Pretty good, 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 pretty Three kicks to the face of like 3,600, 3,800 damage. 
Not bad, not bad, not bad on the damage build. Is it worth the damage though? Is it always worth extra damage? The thing is, as you saw, if you're putting him on a damage build, you, you kind of got to realize where is your rune set at? Where are you at with the game? If you have a Fire Bison, are you at the point where you can afford to get him at 30,000 HP? Because that's essentially where he's going to need to be to put out that much damage. Are you at the point where you need to be where you can have resistance, H, uh, accuracy, crit rate, speed, some defense, some HP? Are you at that point to where you can afford to put crit damage on him. So you don't need to put him on crit damage. You don't need to, it's not necessary to put him on crit damage. He doesn't put out enough damage. Uh, if you get him, he is extremely good on arena defense. And having his HP arena defense lead is phenomenal. The fact that he offers CC, the fact that he offers attack bar manipulation, the fact that he offers attack slow, the fact that he turn cycles, provokes. This is a solid unit. TOA hard, uh, TOA, um, arena defense. If you're using him for an arena offense, I don't know why you would, but you could, I guess, if you're into that. For RTA though, he's gonna be phenomenal. And on RTA, I wouldn't put him on good damage. I would put him tanky as can be. I would put him very high defense, very high HP, uh, definitely a will rune set, and that's how I would put him. Definitely, definitely like that. That's how I would put him. All right, A Crest, I'm back. <clears throat> so we're at the boss. Man, yo, I'll tell you what, Dark Ryu is just phenomenal for TOA Heart. Man, I, I love Dark Ryu for TOA Heart. The fact that he just adds so many turns is insane. I love it. So many turns. Another thing is too, for boss stages, he adds defense break, and that's phenomenal. And another thing too, for Fire Bison, if you have a Fire Bison, and you're wondering if he's good for TOA, he is extremely good for TOA. Obviously, a lot of people are pointing that out too. But he is extremely good for TOA. Reason why is because, one, he's got attack bar manipulation, he's got, uh, well, yeah, he's got <laughs> attack bar manipulation, He's got stuns, <clears throat> but what also makes it really good is he has provokes. So, for those who don't know, there are, other than uh, TOA 100, well, except for Lilith, you can, you can provoke her. But, because provoking him doesn't do anything. Because uh, when he moves and gets his turn, he'll cleanse all his harmful effects off. But against units like Lilith, man, is it crazy. Because... What happens is he'll provoke, or any unit, he'll provoke, he'll stop them from using their skill threes. With Dark Ryu, Dark Ryu offers attack bar manipulation on skill three. A brand, look at that, a provoke. A brand, he offers a, uh, he offers obviously increasing harmful effects, which again is crazy. <clears throat> look at this, just attack bar manipulation out the wazoo. There's a brand up, so my Spectra, who's got very mediocre runes, because I only use Spectra for, like, some PvE content, and even then I hardly, I really hardly use him. But, uh, what would happen is, for, like, the other stages, the boss that you don't want to deal with, especially if the boss has, like, the sleep, like, uh, the Dark Beretta, for example, um, he'll provoke him, so he doesn't use the skill 3. And with me, I have Dark Ryu, so Dark Ryu would make that provoke last three turns. So, it's freaking great. I love it. <clears throat> Again, just great attack bar manipulation. Fire Bison, so great. I love it so much. And it's just, it's just so good. 